Hi there, you guys. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful sunny flower seed beads ring. It's a match to the earrings and the bracelet that I showed you in my previous videos. You know, I'm listening to what you say in the comments and because you usually say that you want to see more sets, uh, that is why I'm making matching jewelry to some that I have already done. And if you want to support me and see more and more free videos like this, subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my new merch store where you could find t-shirts, pillows, mugs, hoodies, tanks, uh, phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you. They are a great present for your bidding friends or for yourself. They will help you express your personality better and in this way when you buy stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission and you could find links down there in description and there at the eye icon. So now thank you so much for watching. I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what you're going to need are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads, you could use 10 ounce of course, and I'm using size 10 beading needle, Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters, this is size O, you could use monofilament or other beading thread of your choice, and here I'm using scissors, and now I'm going to start by taking about uh, an arm span of thread on my needle, you could even take more if you want your ring band to be longer, if um, you want to make it larger. Okay, uh, if your thread is over at some time, I sh I'm showing in most of my tutorials how to add more thread. Uh, but um, if you have that problem, write me in the comments and I will tell you how to do this. So I'll link you to a part where I'm adding more thread, okay? So now I'm going to start. Okay, and in my first step, I will take four of these beautiful seed beads. Okay, I have my four here. And I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making a knot by making a loop and going twice with my tail thread through the loop I've made. And here I pull and then I will go through my next seed bead. Okay. Now I have this cross of beads. Okay, and I will take a green bead and I'm going through the following yellow, another green. Go through the next yellow and again one more time. This is what I have now, and I want to go in this green and I want to start my next row. And in my next row, I'm going to take red, green, red, and I'm going through the following green. Taking again red, green, red. Going through the next green. And again, red, a green, and a red. Go here. And I will repeat it one more time. Red, green, red. Okay. Now, guys, in my next step, I will go through all of those three beads here at the angle 
and I will exit through this red bead and here I will add only one green bead okay then my goal is to exit through this red one and take just one green go here between those two reds take just one green here it is pull between the two reds and put there one green okay now I have this and in my next step what I want to take is yellow red yellow and as I'm exiting of a green bead I'm going through the following green then again yellow red yellow going through the green exiting out of green and going through a green bead and now I'm going to do this until the end of this row Okay, and here pay attention that you should go through the green one because sometimes people make mistake to go through the yellow but you shouldn't do this, okay? So now my goal is to exit out of the red one and here I will add yellow, green and yellow. Here is what I have and I'm going through the next red one. And again, a yellow, a green, and a yellow. Go through the flower. And again, yellow, green, yellow. Go here. And continue this yellow, green, yellow until the end of this row. And I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last three beads. And what I want to do is to go through the following tree. And now I'm exiting out of, the, of a yellow that is next to a red. And I want to take three yellow beads and go through the following yellow. And through the following three beads. Okay, this is what I have. Then I'm going to take three more beads, go through the yellow and through the next two beads. So through three beads in total. Then I'm going to take three more, go through the following yellow and fix this a little bit. And do this until the end of this row and when you're ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I have my last three beads that I should add to make my element that probably a lot of you have seen when I was making my uh, Sunny Spring Seed Beads earrings and Sunny Spring Seed Beads bracelet that I showed you in the beginning and that I'm linking to. And now I'm going to show you how to turn this into a ring, okay? So I'm exiting out of here and my goal is to go to the center of my work, okay? So I'm going through some beads here, okay? And my goal is to reach one of my green beads okay 
like that. And I'm going to take five of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I will skip one of my green beads and go through the following. Okay. Then I will take five more. Okay, I have five. And I will skip one of my greens and go through the following. And I will take five again. And go through this green here. Five more. And go here through this green one. Okay. Now this is what I have. You see here what I have. And I will go through three beads. And as I'm going through three beads, here I have two and here I have two. So I'm exiting out of my middle bead here. And I'm going to take three beads, okay? And then I'm counting one, two, three and going through the third one of my next five beads, okay? Pulling. Then what I want to do is take three more seed beads, go through this bead here in the middle, in the middle of my element, and then I need three more seed beads, go here. And three more. Okay. So this is the basis where I will make my ring band. But in order to do this, I will go one more time around all of my beads here to make it stay nice and tight. Okay, so now here is the place where I will start my ring band. First, I will take one seed bead and see I'm exiting out of this green. And what I want to do is go back to this green in circle. And you see now I have something like a loop between the green and the yellow bead. Okay, then what I want to do is that I want to go back to the yellow. And I want to take one more bead here. And I'm going to this green. Again, back in circle. And then I'm going to the yellow bead. Taking just one more yellow. Going here to the green. And back through the yellow. Then what I want to do is go through all of the green beads here. And one more time through the yellows. And I will continue showing you how to make more rows. Okay, I'm taking one seed bead going back in circle to this one you see there is a loop between them and i'm pulling then i'm going through this yellow bit okay taking just one yellow 
going through the yellow and back to this one here then I'm taking one more yellow and going here in circle and then I'm going here to this one then back to all of those beads here and one more time through these three beads and I will show you one last time seed bead going back through here go again through the yellow one more go through this middle yellow back again through this one again one yellow go back and again through this one here going through all of those beads in this direction and then back through these three beads okay now continue this until you have a ring band long enough to wrap it around your finger and when you're ready I'll be back to show you what's coming up next and don't forget that if your thread is over you could add more thread and I'm showing in a lot of tutorials how to do this and uh, if you have this problem write me in the comments to send you a link how you could add a new thread okay now I'm going to continue and I'll be back okay guys and you see I have now a ring band long enough to wrap it around my finger and I'm going to show you how to finish my work okay now what I want to do is that I want to connect these three beads to these three beads here in the beginning and in order to do this I will bend my work this way and here as I'm exiting from this yellow I'm going through this green then what I want to do is go back through the yellow so I'm doing basically the same stuff but I'm not adding any more beads because I'm connecting those two rows and then I'm going through the yellow again I'm making loops between my beads okay connecting them with the thread loop going through all of them and one more time through all of those green beads and you see I have now my ring band connected here and what I want to do is make some knots okay so I'm going with my thread here between two beads and what I do is that I make a loop and go once then I go second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and you could repeat this several more times and when you're ready you could cut your thread okay I will cut it now but you could repeat this and now guys my ring is ready okay guys and now my sunny flower seed bead ring is ready it's a great match to the bracelet and the earrings that I showed you in my previous videos and it looks really cool and you could do this for present or for yourself 
So now, if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And you don't know how much you help me with only this action. If you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And you could also check my new merch store where you could find uh, mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, tank, phone covers, pillows and so many other stuff. And the designs are made especially from me for you. In this way, when you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. And you could find links down there at the eye icon and in description to my store. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.